Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I am Abdul Sharif P. Bazi, an ESL trainer. You can all call me Bazi, that's my nickname. I have been in this field as an ESL trainer for the past seven years, in which I have worked two years abroad. My first year of career, I've started from Ethiopia in Africa as an English language teacher with Hilltops Academy. And the second year, I was in China with Disney English. I am here going to share a few things from my life of teaching and which it has helped me to find Islam in teaching and which helped me to connect what I have learned from Madrasa with school teaching and which will make beneficial for us today and tomorrow's work. I always enjoy teaching kids because of many reasons. During this many of years of experience, I have found four ways to keep Sunnah of Prophet Muhammad that you can keep those sunnah in your teaching and have a great name among the other teachers. Have a great uh, like respect from the students and the parents' community as well. I'm going to count those five matters, five things I keep in my teaching career. Number one, of course, as you all know, love kids. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam loved kids all the time. There are histories saying that prophets used to play and find some, some find times to play with young kids. I, as a teacher to young learners, I always love playing with kids. Finding time during my lunch break, during my break time, I go to the ground and play with them. The students are happy, the parents are happy, the management of course, and you as a teacher are getting some great time from the school. So number one, play with kids. Number two, it's cleanliness. I have seen so many teachers in the classroom just throwing their waste papers into a corner and not taking it back in front of the students. That's the most important point. We are going to be the role models to the students and we are putting the papers just there on here and the students are watching us. In spite of that, I will tell all my brothers and sisters who teach English or who teach any subjects, in front of your one child, one student, just grab a paper from the floor and put it in the trash can. Next day, trust me, your students will follow you. So cleanliness is one of the most important points. I have seen a few teachers are just spitting through the window or even in the ground in front of the students. They're going to follow you. So make sure each and every action from your side is counted by the students give importance to cleanliness. Number three, as Rasulullah always says, like keep a smile on your face. If you keep a smile on your face, your entire team, teachers community, parents community, students community are always going to be happy with you and you are going to be a positive tracker in your school. So keep a smile on your face. And number four, helping hands. Today's world is all about competition, but make sure when you do something, you have another teacher who is working along with you. Try to help them out. When you find a student who is brilliant, there are another students who are not brilliant, who are just low backward students. Help them out. You being a teacher, you can do help the poor and needy people in your life always and every time. This is also a part of Sunnah. 
and last but not least the fifth point that i always love doing it is just be a child it's only you know that you have masters a phd or like philosophy or whatever but for the children you are a best partner to them so be a child it's okay to go on a suit to the school but in front of young children just remove the suit and coat go on a t-shirt or go on a normal clothing that will make the students happy and enjoy the time with them i have seen so many principals and teachers like the, just imagine this situation in your school one of the kg kids have got the first prize in a competition he has been called to the stage and the principal is going to give this gift or this medal to the student the principal will stand and give it to the student like this right so imagine the same situation recreate it that principal goes down on his knees and standing in front of the students on his knees and make it level level how does that student feel how comfortable that student will feel so remember you are a child when you teach when you're in front of the students doesn't matter how old you are but you're only 6 years or 4 years or 5 years old kids just like them then only you can meet their needs these are the five points that you have to be you have to keep in mind when you go to a classroom to teach young children i repeat number 1 it was love your kids and number 2 it was cleanliness number 3 of course smile number 4 helping hand and number 5 be a child to so spread love spread sunnah of prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam may you be the best teacher for one child remember there is a saying always the child who had lost his toy and the king who had lost his kingdom have the same feeling never ever hurt your children they are in front of you because they trust in you enjoy and have a great day